Hello, today I'm going to explain how to play the train beat. A uh, train beat is a beat that sounds a bit like a train and it's very commonly used in styles of music like bluegrass, uh, rockabilly, old rock and roll, things like that, country music and so on. Um, yes, we do have to play country music sometimes, the drummers have to be extremely flexible. Anyway, uh, it's a pretty simple groove, but if you've never heard uh, or you've never learned how to play it before, you need to be able to uh, pull it out whenever you need it. And it sounds a bit like this. first component of this is playing eighth notes on the snare drum uh, with an accent on the two and the four. So you play something like this, and we're just playing single strokes. Um, I'm using my trusty hot rods, uh, whatever they are, because um, you've got to use them for something, I suppose. And uh, we play something like this. First of all, you just count with your hands. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and so on. Now we want to play an accent on the two and the four. An accent means a note that's louder than the other notes that you're playing. Um, and the way we're going to do that is by, on the preceding stroke, we're going to pick the hand up and then whack it down on the drum like this to give us a louder note. So it goes like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay, so Notice that the softer notes are played very low to the drum, okay? Um, and you, you, know, you can learn how to control the softer notes before you put the accents in if you want, just by playing just a couple of centimeters off the head. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And, and you can see that I don't really need to use much effort. I'm not really moving my hands very much. I'm just letting uh, the sticks do the work for me as much as possible, the, the rods in this case. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and so on. Now, my left hand is going to play these low strokes, they're called taps, uh, throughout the pattern, and it's my right hand that's going to be playing the accents on the two and the four. So what that means is, if I play one, uh, two, three, four, you'll notice that the number one comes before the two, obviously, um, so I need to prepare my stroke by lifting up the stick on the one, like this. One, and then my hand is ready to go down to play the two louder. So I'd have one, and then three, four, okay? And this is called an upstroke and a downstroke. Uh, I'll probably go into a video about all this stuff at some point, but loads of other people have already. Um, upstroke, downstroke. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and when I bring my left hand back in with the taps that I mentioned before, um, we then get the whole snare drum pattern for this beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, I would spend some time learning how to do that if you're not used to playing up and down strokes like this, or if you're not used to playing a dynamic pattern like that with their accents in there. Um, I would practice doing that just on the snare drum until you feel pretty comfortable with it. You can practice on your pad, you don't have to use these, you can use a pair of regular drumsticks. Um, also sounds good with brushes. Um, okay, so that's our, our snare drum part, and I'll, I'll just review that. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. To accompany that, we're going to use the bass on the one and the three, and we're going to play the hi-hat with the foot on the two and four. Um, we get something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, the fun part here is that while you're learning how to play the up and down stroke, when you try and add the bass drum to this, You'll notice that on the one, your hand is going upwards and your foot is going down, essentially. You're playing the bass drum on the one. And uh, what some people struggle with is being able to coordinate the movement of the hand up while the bass drum is going down towards the bass drum. One, two, three, one, two, three. So you may want to practice doing that on its own uh, just to get used to the motion that's involved there. Then, 
when we play the accents on the two and the four, that's when I'm playing my left foot. Three, one, three, one, three, four, one, two, three. Um, again, that's something that uh, you may struggle with at first, to be able to play an accurate stroke with your hand and at the same time uh, playing the left foot nice and accurately. Um, there's a tendency for those uh, you know, opposing limbs not to want to work very well together. So this is a really good uh, opportunity to work on coordinating the hands and the feet in that way. Um, so we'll put that all together. And again, if you've not done this kind of thing before, play really carefully and slowly and uh, be really fussy about um, everything lining up nicely. a lot really slowly um, if you're hearing that the bass drum uh, isn't lining up very nicely because it's having an argument with your right hand as it's going up come back to this again if you're hearing that the left foot isn't lining up nicely with your accented snare on the two and four come back to this again one three one Okay, and then you come back to playing the pattern slowly. Now, once you have all of those elements lined up nicely together, you can try to play it faster. And um, depending on what you prefer, you can either start slowly and gently accelerate as you play, something like this. Uh, you can see why that's called a train beat, obviously. Um, or you can just simply um, start at a faster tempo straight away and then see what happens. Uh, if it doesn't sound any good, slow yourself down again and uh, Work for a few more hours and come back to playing it fast. One, uh, so something like this. One. And that's that. That's the train beat. Uh, go away and work on that until it feels really comfortable. And uh, I will make another video showing you how to change uh, bass drum patterns and also with doing some snare drum variations with the accents there. Arrivederci.